Hey, it's up, Shooting here, and today we're going to continue with my Android Studio tutorial, where today we're going to look at buttons. So, in the last video, we talked about text views, and for now, I actually removed one of the text views created, so now we just have a Hello World text view at the top. But, let's add a button. So, firstly, we could add it manually as well in the code. I'm in the activity underscore main.xml file. Or, let's just for fun, first add the button by just drag and dropping it. Then having a look at what we actually have created. So inside the code over here, you can see we have some text right now just saying button, which I think is fine. We're telling it that the layout of the button is wrapping the content. So the size is defined by the content in the button. So let's say we added some text. So we just said button hello. As you can see, the button size increases, which is actually quite nice. Which makes it definitely a bit easier. We can also define a specific size with pixels, but for now I'm just going to keep it wrapping. Then I have an ID, it's button 2, let's just call it button for now. Button 1. Then we have a specific placing on the button, which is defined with a coordinate, which I don't like, so I'm going to delete that. So for now it's going to be put into the top. I'm then going to use constraints. Where I, over here you can either write it or I am gonna drag these. So it's gonna be constraint to the right, constraint to the left, which put it in the middle, and then gonna constrain it to the button screen. And then instead of as we did last time, constrain to the top and then seeing how many percent we wanna go up. We can actually also do it in another way where we can look at the attributes. And defined how far. So now we're defining specifically how far in pixels. Let's just say 16, for example. So you can see it's actually saying 16 down here. So now we're defining that we want to be 16. I think it's in DP, yes. Above the button of the screen. Which is fine for now. So now we have the button. And we can run the program and the button will show. So let me just run the program again. And give it a second to load. And when it's loading, we should see a screen similar to this with the button at the bottom of the screen. Here we go. And we can click the button, but now nothing happens. So, when we want something to happen when we click the button, we can add another tag and an onclick tag by Android. And we then need to define this method which is going to be called when we click the button, it's going to be what, or called what. I'm just going to go update text. And I'm then going to create a method where when I click the button, I'm going to change my hello world text. To... So for now, we're told this method, as you can see, corresponding method handle on public void object text, not found. So it doesn't exist. So we need to go into our main activity.java, which is connected to our activity main layout. And create this new method. So I'm going to go public, spell public void, update text, and the parameters of this method is going to be view, which means actually the entire view is going to be sent to our update text method, but we're actually not going to use it at all for now. So I'm just firstly going to print to the screen, button clicked, to demonstrate it works, and we're gonna run the program again. And now have a look at the content down here. And when I then click my button, you can see we get system dead out button clicked. So that's pretty neat. Now let's actually try having it interact with our text. Let's for now just keep printing button clicked, but also we're gonna have our text view dot set text and we're gonna set it to button clicked. So now when we run the program, we'd have a application where we both get an output in the console, and up here you can see we get button clicked as well. And now when I click it again, nothing's happened over here, up, up here, but 
we're gonna keep printing button clicked. So that's pretty much the basics of our button where we can create it and position it using constraints. And in this case, a margin to define how far it's gonna be for the button. It's gonna be wrapping our content and we can then add an unclick method to access this button inside our Java and then have something happen when we click the button. So if you enjoyed the showcase of the button with inside Android Studio, please do like and subscribe and I wish you all a wonderful day.